So did Gemini 3 actually kill Google ADK's latest release Visual Builder tool? This question has been on my mind since I built this. This is my own version of ADK's Visual Builder, completely built from scratch without writing a single piece of code. Here I can go ahead and exactly do what is required in order to build these agents visually. So Agent Development Kit is really a very powerful multi-agent creation framework given by Google, but it is a bit code heavy. So in lieu of that, Google actually had released a visual builder tool for Agent Development Kit, which I actually covered last time, and you were able to actually visually go ahead and create different types of agents, and then you, you can configure them, you can create like multiple sub-agents and stuff like that. So I covered all of this in detail last time. But since Gemini Pro got released, I thought, can I actually go to AI Studio, give a couple of prompts and create something like this off my own? And boy, I was surprised. So this is what I was able to build. And not only I was able to build the studio, but also I was able to build the whole SaaS kind of an application with complete set of documentation and stuff like that. It provides how you're able to build it in, in an interesting way. And if I were to decide to go ahead and sell something like this as a business, I could potentially do that, right? So that's something for the future to keep something in mind on how we could build businesses using uh, AI Studio. But let me take you through inside what we built, right? So this is the thought process. When you come inside this particular ADK Studio, this is where you are able to build the agent visually from scratch. So it has got a builder portion where I would be building everything visually. Then I've also got a simulator where once uh, whatever I've built, I'm able to also check the output. And once I'm satisfied, then what I did was I asked it to not only just provide me to download the files, but also what if I wanted to create something in Cloud Shell directly? So can you give me the command? What if I wanted to upload something in Colab? Give me the command and stuff like that. Right? So Colab is already open. So th that is the idea. So it's a complete end-to-end -end visual builder with the ability to execute in different portions. Now let's focus on the main one here. So as you can see here, you can provide the name of the agent. You can see that all different types of agents are here. And this pretty much goes with how different types of agents are there from an ADK perspective. So it's really following the absolute details of ADK's documentation. And then I've given the capability to also have like different models. So I can define something like this, right? So your name is Surya's AI Assistant. Greet the user, ask them about its specific topic and create five short dad jokes on that specific topic to, to make them laugh, right? So it's very simple, singular agent that I'm able to create. Now, if I wanted to add a child agent, I can do that. I can build a hierarchical agent. So this is where there's a possibility of a sub agent. So you can already see it is starting to build a hierarchy and I can keep doing that. So th this is like a hierarchical agent that it is building and I have the capability to also delete it or I can simply keep adding like a child agent. So these are not hierarchical agents, right? It's very cool. And the interface is just so powerful. And also we know that ADK has the capabilities to have different types of tools as well. So these are all the built-in tools. So I also added the capability for it to have access to these built-in tools. And that is something you can see here. So I already provided here like Google search or code execution and you can, you can keep adding, right? So this is, again, I built everything using prompt. So it's really up to you on how much details you want to go, right? So let's say that I'm building this. Uh, and then what I can do is I can go ahead and look into the simulation. I'm just going to say hi. And then now it actually shows you the execution trace in, in action. And this is how it's actually going to respond, right? So I'm here to write in your day, give me a topic. So I'm just going to say that cat, right? So it's going to do that. And this is where it should generate five dad jokes, right? So what is cat's favorite color? Purple. <laughs> I'm a dad, so that's why I'm laughing. Probably you won't be laughing, but anyway, th this gives you a really good idea and it's using Gemini 3 Pro, Pro model. But I wanted to make sure this is real, as real as possible, right? So this is where I do have the export option over here and I can actually go to Cloud Shell and copy the script. So it asks me to get the key. So I've added the key here and then you can see that I also have the capability to deploy in a Cloud Run in my GCP project. So I can give my GCP project name, click a button. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this script here and then go to my cloud shell, basically run this, right? So here I am. And then I'm just going to click on this and press enter. Now you can see that it is starting to actually deploy this whole body, whole code here. So we'll just go and look back at the code, right? So once it has done everything, it is going to say that, okay, the agent is loaded, setup complete. So let's see if it is doing that job. There you go. So it is setup complete. So I'm just going to clear it. And then because it has got into Surya Agentic AI, I'm going to get out of this and then just going to do ADK web. 
So what it should do is now spin up the web UI where we can go ahead and test it. And you see it over here. And then I'm going into this and I'm going to select the one which we just created, which is Surya Agentic AI, which is the name that we had given here, Surya Agentic AI. So we go back here. I'm just going to say hi and let's see what it does. So this is absolutely live. And there you go. I'm Surya's AI assistant. It's great to meet you. Give me a topic. So I'm just going to say cat. I don't know why cat is on my mind, but I'm just going to say cat here just to show you guys. And it should be able to generate those those cat jokes, right? Why was the cat sitting on the computer? He wanted to keep an eye on the mouse. Okay. Again, I'm laughing. But like you, you can see, I was just able to create this agent pretty quickly using this particular tool that I built. So this is where my mind is, do we need the visual builder? So we'll hang on to that answer and we'll get into some more interesting use cases. The next one that I want to talk to you or show you is how I'm able to actually run this in Colab. So I have the ability to download this and then it opens the Colab for me. So I'm just going to show that. Let's open the Colab for me. So I'm just going to upload what I just downloaded. And the, the instruction that I had given it was that, hey, like I, I should be able to run this. I already have the secret key here as part of my keys. So you can see that it is now running directly in Google Colab. So it's just a one click deploy as a Python notebook. So th this is another way where you are able to run this, right? It's, it has done its job and it's going to ask me for granting access to the API key. It has done its job. Again, I have to reiterate this. I have not written a single line of code. This is completely done using Google AI Studio. And I just gave it obviously directions, which I'm going to discuss in the second part of the video. Okay. So now it is actually defining and building the agent. There could be a challenge here because I already have the agent. So let's see if it is able to um, do that or not. Let's see what happens. So yeah, it was able to do this. Now we are going to run this here as an interaction. So here, okay, it's, it, it has started to say, give the user. So I'm just going to say hi and it should run and provide an answer. Again, I'm Surya's assistant. What topics of for change? I'm going to write dog and it's going to run again and come back with five dog dad jokes. Okay. But then this is another way for you to actually run the model, right? So this is the second option where you're seeing that, what do you call a magician's dog? I can't even read it, but it sounds funny. So that's the other option where I was able to download this directly. And then obviously, if you want to run it using an IDE, you're welcome to download this as files, right? And you have the simulation. So th this was the first demo where we built a simple agent. Now what we will do is we will build a little bit more complicated agent, and then we'll see how it performs on that. Okay, now I want to show you an example of building a little bit of a complicated agent. So in this case, when I say complicated agent, I'm really talking about building a multi-agent. I'm going to use a stock agent template. This is the one which I had built in my last video using the visual builder. So you can see that the idea is I want to have a multi-agent where one agent basically is orchestrating. The second agent is doing a greeting and the third agent is actually going and doing the market research work. So this is a financial advisor multi-agent system where you're asking a question about a particular company. It goes and finds the stock ticker and then does a bit of a research. Uh, so this is where the first agent will delegate to the second agent, which is a greeter agent. And then the second agent will delegate to the third agent, which is the actual market researcher agent, which is going to use the Google search tool in order to get the answer and provide a formatted report. So you can see that um, it is a completely uh, multi-agent system, which also uses like a tool and stuff like that. It's not just a single agent system, so it becomes a little bit complicated. Before I do an export and everything, what I want to do is run a simulation here. So I'm just going to say hi here and then initiate and we can start seeing like how beautiful the UI looks here, right? So they're saying it is running the financial advisor agent. It is routing the decision. It's delegating to a sub agent. It is pretty cool. And then the execution has finished. And I'm going to say that, okay, I'm interested in, in Google as a company. So now based on the input, it is now delegating it further to the sub agent so that it can go and do the research. So it, it is providing like a really cool uh, visualization of step by step on how the agents are working and how the tasks are being delivered. So you can see that clearly it called the search tool and then the search tool did return and then the overall execution is finished. And you can see that it has found the ticker for Google, which is GOGL perfect. And it is also giving both classes, which is fantastic. So really, this is how I was expecting the agent to work, right? So just to make sure that this is real, what I'm going to do is go click on export and then again, go to the cloud shell route, right? Which is where we will see how this looks like in the ADK web UI, which is a built in UI. All right. So I've copied the command. I'm just going to go into the cloud shell and paste it and then it's going to run and hopefully it should not have any error. So once it runs, we should be seeing a setup complete option here and it is doing that and you can see that it is set up complete. So just going to go ahead and 
come out of this. So now it's called financial advisor. And then I'm just going to give the ADK command, ADK web command here. So it should again open up the web UI and we'll see this in action, right? So this is where I'm going to select the financial advisor, just making sure that was the name of uh, financial advisor. That's correct. And now let's see how it behaves. So you can see that this is a bit, it's a multi-agent one. So I want to make sure that it is able to pass and we're able to see all of these things here, right? So invocation is calling an LLM right now. So I'm just going to say, let's say Microsoft. So again, it should be capturing all the events and stuff like that. There you go. So you're seeing right now it was a greeter agent. The second one, it is passing all of this. So it's, it's doing exactly what it is supposed to do. The only difference is again, I didn't write a single line of code here. And there you go, it has provided. So now, you know, the research agent has resulted back and you have the whole report available to you, right? So this is just fantastic because I was able to get this just from here as a visual builder, right? And again, you have the capability to download the files at any point in time so that you can run it in VS Code and stuff like that. So again, going back to the initial question, does this kill the, the ADK's default visual builder? I am not really sure just yet, right? Because I think if you go to the actual visual builder, th there are a lot of interesting capabilities. For example, they have a lot of these callback capabilities. They have a lot of different tools and stuff like that. But the most important one, which I really is, they have this AI assistant, which is completely grounded with the ADK's documentation. Now, of course, you can do that as well. But then, you know, you will never be as updated as Google's internal teams on their own products or any company's internal teams on their own products. So this is where I think like the assistant will be very interesting. And I'm assuming that as Google come, starts to add more tools and stuff like that, as part of this, they will continue to automatically update this. So I think a combination of this and something like this, where you have built something could be interesting, where, you know, you could see and compare and contrast. But then the idea is both are using the ADK score framework, which is the meat of the thing. But I'm just like pleasantly surprised and blown away by the quality of output that Gemini 3 uh, Pro model was able to give, right? Wrote everything from scratch, beautiful visualizations. And then also you can see that beautiful visualizations all along. Fantastic use of both AI Studio and Gemini Pro. In the next part of the video, I'll be happy to take you through some of the steps that I took to build this. And I'm happy to discuss the kind of prompt that I wrote. It was built incrementally. And I provided a lot of links and documentation in order for it to understand what is the right kind of, what should be the right kind of command and stuff like that, right? Which was, but then again, a lot of it was, so I provided a lot of documentation from the official side, as well as a lot of examples for it to understand what could be the things that it needs to run. So it took me around two to three hours to build this whole thing. And I'm sure if I spend a little bit more time, I can make it a little bit more powerful. We can also add like the authentication and login and all of those things using Firebase Studio. If you guys are interested in that, on how to create like an authentication uh, and login based platform or a SaaS application, I'm happy to discuss that as well. It's pretty interesting now with the with Gemini 3 model, you can do that pretty quickly. So happy to do that as well. So I hope this was valuable to you guys. As always, please let me know in the comment sections if you guys have any questions. And of course, if you, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. I will highly appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.